Hey Cancer, welcome to March. So we're in the middle of the month, but these next two weeks are gonna be packed with changes for you. Okay, we're almost to Aries season. It's still Pisces season. So right now for you Cancer Risings, the sun's in your tenth, uh, ninth house along with Saturn. A lot of you right now, regardless of what your Cancer placement is, because this is for all Cancer, you're probably feeling like you want to just level up, do better, like, you know, sort of like this finality feeling, like finally, finally, you know, and this is just the beginning, okay? There's really no final destination with evolution, with our, you know, growth. But Saturn being in your ninth house, is really strong okay it's gonna push you to places that you've never dreamed of if you let it it's very positive so i'll talk about the astrology as we go the cards will back me up <laughs> if you're new here again um this is for any cancer placement i talk about cancer any zodiac from the first house okay we have the six of wands a lot of you are proposing new ideas and making new directions in your life and you're gonna see success in that too and there's a really big transit so stick around in this video for what happens at the end of the month it's gonna be a lot for you but for now <clears throat> venus moves into your 11th house in a couple of days and you're gonna have a lot of attention on you okay whether you want it or not, it's going to be a lot of attention on you. And what you do with that attention will kind of be checked by Saturn. Okay. So, obviously, if you have, well, here we are, the Two of Cups. So, this might be um, a, about some romantic situation. Some of you are getting proposed to straight up. I'm sorry if I ruined it, but this is, this is long-term commitment right here and goodness Venus and Taurus it's home okay Venus is home in Taurus and with it being in your 11th house next to Uranus it it might bring some attention to you okay and hopefully it's positive but either way it really doesn't it really doesn't matter right now like what matters is how you handle it it doesn't matter if people are talking about you good or bad it's how you're handling it okay let's get some more interesting mm. so seven of swords and the five of wands something all these false things that have been around you that you might have had a intuition and intuitive pull about are about to come to light okay Saturn's not going to leave anything unchecked oh and, and this is over the next three years Saturn's a very slow moving planet but where it is in your chart right now is going to affect you a lot you might be feeling a little bit up and down like things might be really good one minute and really crazy the next Okay, also, if you're new here, like and subscribe and hit your bell notifications. I know we're not finished with your reading, but what that does is it helps me tap into our little collective here. And each month, your reading's just going to get more and more accurate, okay, by you doing that. So, interesting. So, okay, Mercury, the sun and the moon. Within the next week, Mercury, the sun, and the moon are all going to be in your 10th house, okay? That's your reputation. 10th house is your, what you're known for, okay? You might be feeling like a little bit defensive. You might be feeling like calling someone out. This is such up and down energy. Like these are two, these four cards are night and day, but they came out together, right? They're kind of coupled. Interesting. Tell me more about... Mm, okay, so if there was any confusion about where you're going, what you're doing, the clarity is coming with the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Wands. 
So some of you have an idea that there's something going on. You might have already cut off a situation that was toxic or just not true to who you are and who you're becoming because you're on to bigger and better things. That's another thing with um, Saturn in your ninth house. I have Saturn in ninth house in my birth chart and it's, it's, it's not a bad place to have Saturn. I will say that. Okay. So confusion is clarifying for you. Anything that has you sort of, I don't know what to do, like I don't know how to handle this situation or you're waiting to see something. You might be romantically, um, I'm seeing, okay, I'm seeing you be with somebody and then I'm seeing other people be mad about it. And I'm seeing the other people that are mad about it, like kind of bringing drama your way, trying to confuse you. They might be working on you in some way, or there's some type of manipulation here. And you're going to come to a deciding point, like, okay, I see things for what they are now. This is my next step. Okay. Like I said, these next two weeks are going to be packed with events. Mm -hmm. All right. What's next? On the 23rd, Pluto reaches zero degrees in Aquarius. This is your eighth house. Even further, transformation, even, even deeper transformation. Um, this is just the beginning of so much. If I haven't said that already, okay, because these bigger planets are these further planets that are moving, switching signs, you know, that doesn't happen but every so many years. Pluto hasn't moved out of Capricorn since 2008. So think back, you know, depending on how old you are watching this, think back to 2008, you know, that's a long period of time. And so you're really just getting like a system reboot, like, okay, this was great, this was fun, but this doesn't work anymore. And so now this is what it is. All right, let's talk Cancer. I do see you getting your way in some situation. I do see you, you know, coming to a place where the results of the situation benefit you, they serve you. It's you getting what you wanted, even if it took a little bit of grit to get there. I see you taking action towards like the bigger things, right? So especially when Mercury and the sun and the moon move into Aries, you're going to be making moves, okay? Big moves, big opportunities are going to be coming your way. And I want to tell you, the 20th of March, when it's Aries season, there's also a new moon in Aries. So if you're one of those people who like to manifest, if you like to bring candles and herbs and all those things, you're going to have such success with things going your way on the 20th, okay? I would be careful. Don't burn yourself out trying too hard to reach a place find some comfortability in knowing that what you want is already yours and you're just sort of massaging your energy to match that. Okay, massaging because it's not a forced thing. It's not difficult and it's not painful. You know, the confusion and the clarity might cause some friction for sure but as soon as that's addressed and you call it for what it is you see it for what it is you're gonna be very very satisfied one of the biggest things that i want to talk to you about is mars being in your sign on the 25th mars has been in gemini for about five months for you cancer risings that's your 12th house when mars is in the 12th house it's a little chaotic it can make us that do things and become self-aware of things that maybe we didn't know before but also it can show us it can really highlight our patterns that haven't been working like oh that was my fault i'm not gonna do that again oh i see why that's a problem okay so it really it really your impulses your reactions things like that it's moving out of your 12th house and it's your first house. So Mars will be in Cancer on the 25th. Let's get some advice for that because it'll be there for two months. We have the Knight of Cups. 
Okay, so for some of you, this love situation that I see, like in the very first two cards, is gonna come to more of a fruition. Like, you know, you're, I definitely see romance coming your way. You can use this Mars in your first house energy to really, and I'm careful when I say this word because it's not the way it sounds, but I feel like you're gonna learn how to manipulate energy <clears throat> not in a toxic way, not manipulate, like do shady things to get what you want. I'm talking about manipulating energy for like good. Okay. Look up the definition of manipulate because it's not anything to do with like lying to somebody. I'm not, I'm a terror reader. I'm not going to advise you to do some crooked things to anyone, but when you learn how to manipulate like such a mass of energy, you're gonna start seeing things go in your favor more often. You're gonna see how easy things can be for you. And that's crazy to say, but Mars is a sign as a planet of war, sex, impulse, okay? A little bit of chaos. <laughs> Let's get some advice. Okay, judgment. Like I said, you're gonna have a lot of attention on you right now. And there are, if there is something being negative being said about you, being you know, even a, like a lie, okay? The attention you give it is gonna make or break you, not them, you. So yes, you're pulling clarity, you're pulling like, you know, you're in the right to like cut the confusion, to cut off what is toxic to you. But I'm telling you right now, if people are coming for you or they're coming for your relationship, do this, okay? Look at it for what it is, okay? Who is saying it? What is it they're saying? And why would they be saying that? And really, really be honest with yourself, okay? This is an inside conversation, Cancer. You're not going to someone else talking, oh, what do you think? What do you think? No. The passive aggressive shit's over. Like, we're over that. But what they're saying, who they are, and why, what their motive is for doing that is going to reveal a lot. Either a lot about you, or a lot about them, okay? But the the message here is to sort of stand outside of yourself and look at it from a, what's it called? Like a non-emotional, just for a moment, just for a moment, like, what's the word? <laughs> just um, unbiased way, okay? Like sort of third person yourself, like, okay, I see this and I see this person, I see this person, so if you were like an outsider in your own life, look at it objectively. That's the word I'm looking for. Objective analysis of what's actually happening. And I feel like that's where you're going to get your clarity um, beyond what I'm sharing with you. So again, like and subscribe. So uh, turn your bell notifications on so you can get April. I want to get April out early so long as I get through all the Zodiac in time because these next two weeks are just so much and I want, I want you to also get this early so that you can plan accordingly and be ahead of the game, right? Let's talk about Mar more Mars in your sign. Ooh, Cancer. Okay. So we have the Ace of swords, the devil, and the five of pentacles. Some of the truth that's coming out is going to be like people really just not wanting to see you do well. And I, I'm not a toxic reader like that. I'm not a doom and gloom reader. But honestly, some of these people just want to see you fail. They don't have a reason. Um, or they have a reason but it's not legit it's not coming from it's coming from a place of fear it's coming from a place of obsession 
It's coming from a place of jealousy. It's coming from a place of how can they do better than me? Like you should be suffering with me. Like, why aren't you suffering also? And that's ugly. And that's definitely something you're gonna cut out. Yeah. Again, I'm getting some of it is like just people not liking who you're with. Um, it's very specific. And I know not all of you are in a relationship also. So let's talk about what this could be. Like, what is this about? A lot of it has to do with money. Yeah. People see you excelling. People see you moving up and out of a shitty situation. And they're like, uh-uh, I don't like that. I'm I'm feeling this way about your success and you need to know about it or I'm going to sabotage you. I'm getting like some sabotage energy for you, Cancer. So it's really important to ground yourself, okay? If you need to get some like dark crystals to ground your body, if you need to go out in nature, if you need to go to the ocean, do whatever you can to ground yourself because some of the things that are going to happen in the next couple of weeks are going to set you off. They're going to piss you off. And why I don't want you to indulge in that too much is because I feel like these people know you to an extent where they know if they just say, they can just say one thing, kind of like have you. You know, you might be a little bit reactive and I'm not here to judge you like that. Like I, people be audacious out here so and that's another thing is okay so one of the phrases i use for my channel is alchemy and audacity people are gonna look at you like you're the one with audacity when you're alchemizing all this and when you're not paying attention to them when they're not getting the reaction from you they're gonna be like she didn't even say anything he didn't even do this blah blah, blah. and really it's just what they might as well be saying is so-and-so didn't take the bait. So-and-so didn't believe me when I said that, you know? And so your intuition is very strong right now. Okay, you're in a water season. We're still in Pisces season technically for another week. So you might feel a little bit in your shell right now. You might be feeling like, oh, well, I'm safer, just not... You know, if you have a weird feeling about somebody, just observe. I'm gonna tell you, even like play dumb for a little bit. Just not not long, not long, because if you do it too long, then you are gonna look dumb. But play dumb for a little bit and see what people show you from that. Life tips, life tips. All right, Cancer, I'm gonna keep this short for now uh, if you call 20 minutes short because I want to get through all the zodiacs. Well, first of all, I think that's all you needed for now. If you want a personal readings, my website's below. You can hit me up anytime. Always, when you get your reading from the website, email me so that you and I can have direct conversation. Okay, no nonsense. It's just you and me, direct contact, and we can um, do your personal readings. I have many readings, full readings and love readings. If you want to go deeper into your own situation. But yeah, um, stay cool. Stay cool out here because I do see so many benefits of having Mars in your sign. Saturn's gonna boss you up big time. And there's, there's a lot of positive things happening for you. So I feel like the contrast of, okay, there's all these positive things happening for me. There's sometimes there's going to be like, oh, well, you know, here's the negative. So it's really important to not focus on the things that aren't going right. And it's super important to focus on what is going right. I'm going to leave it at that. And yeah, like, subscribe. I'll see you next month.